All right, our epic storm season is leading to a potentially epic allergy oh. season. Here's the reality, larger blooms this year. Yeah, and BC Berry's Ian Cole explains what doctors are already seeing and how to breathe a little bit easier. We've heard from a lot of people that have runny noses, itchy eyes, all due to seasonal allergies. And allergy doctors say that season is well underway and could be much worse this year because of all the rain we've had. Eileen Agiloni was out enjoying the sun with her friends today, finally feeling up to it. I never used to have allergies, but I think like the weather has been so bad recently that I, I have like severe, I have a lot of respiratory stuff. <laughs> She says these are the worst allergies she's ever had, and her three-year-old son is also having to take medication to get by. I have severe asthma, I have chronic sinusitis, and because of that, I'm just constantly sick, like constantly in a state of like having a cold, and it's all allergy-related. Our expectation is that it's going to be a, a difficult spring for patients who are allergic to pollen. Dr. Robert Toronto with Allergy and Asthma Associates of Northern California says he's seeing an uptick in patients calling in and that tree pollen is what's affecting people right now. In a year like this where we've had a lot of rain, we might get significant pollen levels into in, even into June or July. So it's it's just going to be a tough year and we're going to all have to you know be careful and take our medication. New government research suggests pollen season is starting 20 days earlier and lasts 10 days longer than usual and there is 21 percent more pollen in the air than in 1990 largely fueled by the carbon dioxide from man-made climate change. You're basically creating a hothouse and Plants go, grow well in a hot house. To fight seasonal allergies, Dr. Toronto suggests over the counter allergy medication, saline nasal sprays, and eye drops. And if you've been outside all day, change your clothes when you get home. Ajaloni is doing everything she can to get relief, and so are most of her friends. No surprise because I just I've experienced so many people around me affected by it as well. In San Jose, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.